What's up? This is uh, the mobile game Naruto X Boruto. Some people wanted me to uh, give a breakdown of this game, summarize it for them. So, this is a mobile hero collector that is mostly a tower defense game. So, this is the main page. This base you'll have to level up as you play and get stronger. It has a max level of 15. Basically, the reason you want to level this up is for the fortress. Now, this is your base. Now, you can set this up with uh, all kinds of stuff. You can put your own ninjas in here and your own traps. Now, the reason you would want to level up your base is so you can unlock these different terrain sets. Otherwise, you're stuck with this original one. That's not very good, and you also only have a few traps here. But as you would level up your base, you'll be able to get way bigger trains. So you can have more ninjas, more traps, special summons like the Ninetales Fox. And every time you buy one of these terrains, you unlock all these ninja traps. And you would also unlock the... Like the nine tails fox and uh, the one tail beast, all these beasts that you would want. You can have one in your base at a time. And these are more of the traps that you would put in there. So, the ones I have in here now are these bear traps. They just, when a character goes onto them, it sticks them there for a couple seconds. They have to smash on their. Uh, icon to try to get them out of it while uh, they usually take uh, damage from either a ninja that I have out there to protect my base or another trap and every one of these tra these you can have click your inventory here you can see you can either make your own ninjas out there or these low level wiggling ninjas So the best thing that you'd want to do is just make the base as difficult as possible while putting your strongest ninjas in this base. So what what people do, they start here and then they would go here, get stuck in some bear traps, wasting some of their time, and then they keep making their way up here. Then they'd have to kill my Ninetales Fox. Now here is the main place they want to go. But it has like a, a barrier here. Unless you kill these ninjas over here, the barrier won't let you in there. So if you kill this one, 75% of the barrier will still be up. So 25% of the power will be gone. So you can turn around and go back up there, but you'll take a lot of damage and be knocked down. And then these ninjas will come and beat, beat you down while you're stunned on the ground. So you want to kill all these ninjas and then go back and try to take down these ninjas in the base and that's the whole point of the game basically <coughs> this game also has a story mission so you can do all these stories and play through the Naruto story if you haven't seen the show you might want to get on that this attack missions are where you would go to actually go into other people's tower defense. So if you go in solo, you use these green things up here. They have their own recharge. And then you would go fight other people's bases. And these team battles, these are brand new. Right now they're only available until the 19th of July. Well, these let you go in to people's bases with friends, guildmates strangers it's mu much easier to do base runs when you have all these other people on on your team that can just use ultimates whenever they want and when you die they don't die that's not the same as in solo battle when if you go into a solo battle your main character if he dies then you lose the game doesn't matter that you have four other 
AI, you just lose, so that's pretty lame. And you also can't control their ultimates. You can only control your main character's ultimate. So the team battle is way easier, but it gives better rewards right now. These are special only to this team mission. These special missions right here, this is where you would get uh, upgrade materials for your ninja cards. I'll talk a little bit more about them later. But it's mostly here for unlocking hero fragments. So as you can see here, it says if you do this, you will get Shikamaru hero fragments. Same thing here, you would get Naruto, Baruto, and Choji fragments, and on down the line. These surprise attack missions happen once a month on the last week of the month. This is like a raid. So you go in there with your guildmates or some strangers, and there's a Jinchuriki or a Nine Tailed Beast or whatever, like uh, the Nine Tails or the One Tails. And then you and your friends will beat it down. Usually they have a lot of health and they can take a lot of time depending on how strong you are. This obtain this is a obtain ninja shinobi. This is where you would go only for unlocking characters. I have every character unlocked so far, so there's no need to ever go in here. The shinobi list just shows you all the characters that you have already unlocked and the hero fragments turn into stars that you would use to, as you can see I have no extras here, but I have 70 extra here. So if I wasn't at max stars here I would have 70 out of whatever. This Sabusa has 106 out of 200 and that would cost me some chakra. But that would also give me the max stars to get the most power. You want to get max stars on your ninjas so you can go into the abilities here. Yeah, I have 0 of 43 on this Sabuza. But you get to unlock more abilities as you have more stars. See, as you can see, I don't have these unlocked because I need 6 stars. These power up your stats and your moves and lower cooldowns of moves so that's very important these ninja tools will add very low stats usually but these are the special ones here for the attack missions or team attack they add way better stats so the equipment this is how you would spend real money in this game is how the game makes money by selling you cards to power up your characters and give them moves so right here we have Kakashi's ultimate and it gives you these stats here and since it's a Kakashi card it will give Kakashi like 5% more of these stats than if it was this Itachi card here because it's not a Kakashi card so this game gives you extra percentages of stats based on if it's the specific ninjas card and also the type of card so this is a fire so like red and Kakashi is a purple so this is the best of both worlds you get the most stats out of this because it's purple and it's Kakashi so that's basically what this is all about you go in here to enhance your cards to make them stronger it takes chakra which is up here levels them up this right here will this is what you do with your dupes in this game if you have a double of a card then you can take them put them into one single card and make that card stronger these are synthesis cards 
so you use them, put them all here, and this is the experience right here. This is his chakra also. So as you can see, it's moving up. And there. See, it's going to level up to 8, which is max. And it makes the power and the critical hit go up. And then it can't go up any higher, so it's a completely maxed out jutsu. Now here is the summons where they make their money. These are weekly changing banners. Every five days you get a free, free summon on this banner. It's not great because it has every single card in the game. So you have extremely low dro drop rates of anything that you'd actually want. You have to get very lucky. These are specialized banners. So if you want Shikamaru cards, he has high values on his cards in this banner. This is the same with Kakashi here. He has higher drop rates than normal on this banner, so you're more likely to get his cards. And this is the whole thing of saving for ninjas that you want. So you don't want to just spend on random banners because you won't get full kits. You won't be able to get every single one of their moves. You so you want to save until you have a bunch of Shino bites in this game, which is in-game currency, and then go in on one ninja that you really want, so you have a better chance of getting ultimates, super rares, rares. You want to complete the kit, so you have the ability to have all of their moves available to you when you go to play them. So that is basically all that there is in this game. It has rankings for uh, the attack base every month or so you'll be judged based on how good you did and you get these rankings here you get these prizes this is a summoning ticket guild medal fortress medals which you use to unlock uh, hero fragments and then these are shino bites here This game also has a guild system right here. So, usually, to get into a guild, you actually have to do at least one attack mission. A lot of people don't know this, so I figured I would just say it. These guilds are very small. Only 30 people are allowed in one at a time. You just go in here and go to guild search. And then find a guild and join one. Right now my guild is full, but I usually kick people out quite often. If they don't, jo if they aren't, haven't logged in for like five or six days, I usually kick them. There's also a special guild, guild metal shop. It allows you to get these ninja tools. They just up your stats a little bit. There's also some uh, high skill gems in here and this is just needed to level up uh, your cards that's basically all there is to this game so I just figured I would make this video to try to help people understand what's going on in this game I'm not gonna show any gameplay because I don't want the video to drag on too much longer I'll make other videos about gameplay later see ya